this is Mahesh Ravi and today we'll be looking at how I created this short sequence uh, using Photoshop and After Effects and just two images and a video clip and a lens flare and uh, a logo. Okay, let's get into that uh, right now. Okay, so these are the two images that I have. So uh, let's open these images up in Photoshop. So create new and choose a video format. So I'm going to choose 12807 uh, format. And let's bring in the other two images, the building images that we just saw. I'm going to add the first image to the uh, to the to the new document that we created. Scale it down. I'll go to the second image right now, and I want to cut out this building. Uh, so I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool uh, and make a very quick selection of this building. Once we have made the selection, right click on the selection and choose layer via copy. You can drag that layer onto your uh, untitled composition, the new composition that you've created. Place it uh, where you want the new building uh, to be positioned. Now we need to change the colors a little bit. So I'm going to go to curves. Choose the red channel. I'm going to bring in the red and I'm going to bring the blue a little down. Okay. Yeah. So I am adding this logo. Also, as a reveal, you can add a text if you want. Uh, place. So I have this logo which is already made. Now uh, placed everything. I just have to save this as a PSD file. We're going to After Effects right now, and. Uh, in here, we are going to import the PSD file that we just created. Make sure that while you're importing the PSD file and you're importing this as a composition. So we'll click open and okay. Double click on the composition and it'll open up in the timeline. Uh, you can see all the layers separately here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a camera because we'll be animating the camera here. So click on layer and create a camera. For the camera to affect your layers, you need to convert all your layers to 3D. So turn on the 3D switch right there and choose a two view in your uh, monitor. You, you'll see a top view of your uh, animation. So what you can do is you select the building layer and move it closer to the camera. Also, you can choose the background layer and to and move it further away uh, from the camera. Uh, you can also scale it up so that the field of vision of the camera is fully covered. You can choose the camera and animate the camera. So we are going to animate the position uh, parameter of the camera. So uh, click P uh, to bring in uh, the position parameters. 
select the camera layer and click on P on your keyboard and it will bring up the position controller. Click on the stopwatch to record the, the animation and move your timeline to decide duration and move the camera on C axis to create the animation. Alright, so we now have the animation running. Uh, I want to add a little more, uh, a little bit of a lens flare onto uh, the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, the internet and search for a lens flare. So Google lens flare and go to images and you can download lens flare image. So I'll go with this one, save this image and import that to your project in After Effects. Drag and drop it right onto your uh, prop composition. So it'll appear like this. You can change the blending mode of the lens flare to uh, screen. Positioning it where we want. Now, uh, once the lens flare is positioned correctly, I want a video clip to be added here. I have a green screen footage of uh, a helicopter running. Uh, so, so, this is footage that I want to bring in uh, to the scene. So, I have this footage, drag and drop it right onto your composition. Make that a 3D layer. Okay, now we need to remove the green. So you can search in your effect uh, panel for key light, drag and drop it to the layer and pick the key color. Yeah, the green is gone. So you can preview the animation right now. Yeah, everything is in place. So uh, we can render it out right now. So that's it. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.